Hey folks, this guide will teach you how to use Kasha. Let's talk about the stats on this Soul Core, beginning with the special effects. The first being, you have Life Drain whenever you hit with a Yokai ability. Second, on Amrita Absorption, you will move faster. At a max rank of 30, the Life Drain Yokai ability hit scales up to double A+, whereas the faster movement on Amrita Absorption does not scale whatsoever. The Yokai ability itself is referred to as Hellfire Wheel. Summon a flaming wheel wielding a blazing whip to engage in hot pursuit of your enemy. The wheel will change its direction if it collides with a wall. The anima cost for this is on the higher end at 7 anima, while the attunement cost is insanely high at 10. As for the animation itself, there's a little bit of a wind up, but you can respond almost immediately. However, you cannot use another soul core while this is out. This ability is fantastic at dealing damage and applying scorch, making defeating your enemies that much faster. It doesn't necessarily do the most key damage, except maybe some with the whip portion of the ability, but by and large this is mostly an afterthought. This ability suffers from one major weakness. It can be deflected, thus nullifying the entirety of its power. And when you're locked from using other soul cores for some time, this can be frustrating. However, if it does manage to hit, your targets will melt before you. It's fantastic in group fights, as it will murder everything and give you a ton of life back courtesy of its life drain. Unfortunately, you are not immune to grabs, so be careful while using this. Benke is normally pretty tanky. First thing I do is break his weak spot and reduce his key to zero. Then I throw out Kasha and inflict Scorch and Confusion courtesy of my corrupted weapons. Benke is now entirely helpless and must suffer the wrath of Kasha. And with that, I transition into Yokai Shift with a grapple.